Cyberpunk 2077 is here and it's here 57 years earlier than what its title says. And yes, that is the most original joke ever. Hey everyone, Mukul here. So as I was charting data and stats and numbers for the RTX 3080 which I borrowed from a friend recently, the launch of Cyberpunk 2077 couldn't have come at a better time. So I was like, what the heck, and I rigorously tested it on both the RTX 3070 and the RTX 3080 and compared screen recordings of how good or bad the different DLSS modes look. I will also share the different DLSS modes benchmarks with and without RTX in the video too. So without wasting much of your time, let us get right to it because unlike CD Projekt who actually deserved all this patience from all of us for making this beautiful game, I would get a good thrashing if I made you wait any longer for the numbers. Here are my system specs and yeah, I need that much of uh, RAM for some reason. The scenes I tested weren't combat ones, so it's fair to say during any intense combat scenarios, the average FPS could drop even more. So let's start with how the RTX 3070 performs at 1440p. Clearly Cyberpunk guys knew what the Psycho RTX preset will do to a system and they aptly named it that. The game is unplayable on RT Psycho with DLSS off. But it sees about a 75% boost in DLSS quality mode and about 20% from quality to balanced mode. In 4K it's absolute garbage with DLSS off and uh, with on it just feels a little less garbage in my opinion. And the DLSS balance mode doesn't see a huge improvement either. In RT Ultra mode with DLSS off, the game just passes over 30 FPS mark and gets almost twice the frame boost as soon as you hop onto uh, the DLSS quality mode. But from there, the improvements are just marginal. In 4K, let's just forget I put the DLSS off frame rate there. And in DLSS quality mode, the 30 FPS mark is just not satisfactory enough for the PC MR race. But there is a decent performance gain of about 50% in DLSS Auto, but the mystery behind that Auto mode isn't clear to us, and by us I mean I. The Cyberpunk guys quite cautiously named the lowest RT mode as medium and not low or lowest, as it might sound negative and no one can happily gloat something like that, hey I get about 80 FPS in the lowest ray tracing mode. I mean it will definitely sound much better that hey I get 80 FPS in about the RT medium mode. So yeah, the game happily touches 80 FPS in balanced mode and from there it sees about 10 to 20% performance enhancements from the performance to ultra performance DLSS modes. The 4K performance is better on the RT medium setting too as compared to the previous RT modes as it varies from 45 to 75 FPS. The VRAM consumption never peaked above 7 GB at the 4K resolution and 6 GB at 1440p. And here is a summarizable graph of 1440p and 4K with one or two more graphs that I didn't share earlier. So yeah, the RTX 3070 can't happily run this game at 4K till you hop onto the DLSS Ultra Performance Mode. But I'm not quite happy with the Ultra Performance Mode and I'm going to share why right after the RTX 3080 benchmarks. So on 1440p RT Psycho mode with DLSS off, the RTX 3080 gets a decent 39 FPS but right after you turn on the DLSS to quality and balanced mode, you see a massive gain of 80% which is good for your eyes as asserted by some top PCMR scientists. At 4K, Cyberpunk just destroys the 3080 at the Psycho mode which is, well, Psycho for sure. To even have it remotely playable, you can't use anything below the DLSS balanced mode. But on RT Ultra at 1440p, things get much better with the performance rising from 45 FPS to 75 FPS with a DLSS in quality mode. But notice the performance at Ultra settings with both RT and DLSS off and both RT and DLSS on, the frame rate is absolutely the same. So it's better to sometimes let the code do its thing. On 4K, turning off the RT and DLSS didn't help much this time and actually keeping it at DLSS Auto gave a decent playable frame rate. And let's just be honest, there is no one who would want to play this game with the settings on the lower two graphs at 4K resolution. On the RT medium setting at 1440p, you would find ample fun in all the different DLSS modes. I mean the 113 and 92 FPS marks are great performance, but we would assess in just a moment why I am not going to be a big fan of those. On 4K, the DLSS performance mode will get you around 60 FPS, but the balance mode is not looking bad either. Across all the tests, even at 4K, the game never hogged more than 7 GB of VRAM. I would say these numbers look quite close to what we saw with the RTX 3070. 
And here are the summarized charts of both 1440p and 4K with RTX 3080. Pause and enjoy. The RTX 3080 costs 40% more than the RTX 3070, but the performance gain here from both of these cards across the average of all the tests isn't anywhere close to that. I would say it's roughly around 20% and this is exactly why I never ever buy the most top tier components of anything. And also because I never have that much money available to burn. Now during my tests, I would say that I would rather prefer balanced DLSS option rather than anything else. You can clearly see here how blurry the performance and how terribly blurry the ultra performance scenes look like. It clearly can't get any clearer than this. I mean clearly can't get any blurrier than this. Also the flickering around the edges of various assets here in the performance and ultra performance mode is terrible too. And it almost makes the game completely useless to me personally. So yeah, you should definitely stick with the DLSS quality or balance mode at least. You should also definitely tinker with the other settings rather than depending solely on the DLSS. The DLSS quality and balance mode aren't bad in any sense and are good to play with. But if they are not able to yield good performance on your card, then better stay away from turning on uh, ray tracing on this game as it definitely looks beautiful anyway without it. But if you're someone who recently bought the 3000 series or the newer Radeon 6000 series cards, listening to that would make you feel like slapping me. So thank God this is a video format. I personally didn't try running this game at 1080p because if you're someone who bought the RTX 3070 or the RTX 3080, then you'd be a fool if you want to play at 1080p with those graphic cards. Of course, after the many optimizations this game will go through, it will definitely keep uh, getting better, but we have no idea how much or if that would even be as drastic as some people are ex already expecting it to be. It took me many hours to compile all this data, so do leave a like and sub with the bell if this video helped you in any way. That's all for today. Mewbot, out.